Hi, I'm Grace M. Morris, the author of the Teen Brigade series. So, I, as everyone knows from the last video, is I've been gone somewhere. So, by the time you see this video, it is at the end of April. Kind of wait for a March wrap up. I'm gonna wrap up my March reading. So, so the first book that I read in March is Can't Help Falling by Kira Isaac. And this has a witchy theme of um, C.S. Lewis's work, primarily Narnia, but they do mention a few of the other of his stuff. And it takes place in Oxford, England. Thankfully, there is this one character that is um, trying to um, trying to fix her past or run a, well, yeah, kind of fix her past. She did, she written an article that, um, that had tragic results. And so she goes to Oxford to try to fix some of those, um, issues. And while she meets this one, while she meets this one guy, um, who is a, a rower and he hurted his um, shoulder at the time so he's trying to heal so he can row again. So both of them are Narnia fans and they connect, to, um, kind of connect and I rated the book four stars. I have a review on Goodreads which I'll post all the reviews for the books I have because I actually have reviews this time. Hooray! So I'll post all the reviews I have down in the description box below. The next um, book I read is In Previous, the Incension um, series by Heather Wento. I think that's how you pronounce her name. This is a uh, book one in the Incension um, series. So I read this three stars and I had a lot of problems with this book. Let's see if I can remember what it's about. <laughs> so it's about this girl that is a rubble and she's trying to go against the government. She lives in the ventilation shafts. That's basically yeah, it's basically what the book's about. It's a Christian dystopian book and I have a review on Goodreads, which as I said, I will link everything down below. So I read the book Overshadowed, which is the prequel to the Rem Remnant, Rem Remnant series, which is by Vanessa um, Chapman. And I read this um, book five stars. It was a pretty good um, book for a prequel and it made me want to read in the, in the next books, which I actually haven't done yet, but I really want to read the next books now because I have to read this book. So I'm going to go and read this book really soon. Or the not, not this book, but read the book that come, that is, yeah. And Overshadowed is about this EMP which causes all the power and lights and cars not to work anymore. So they um they in overshadowed the government puts together this plan um because they kind of know that this is going to happen or something. So they put together this plan on how to see how people would react to these issues and to make sure that everybody is going to be kind of okay. That's kind of what I kind of got out of it. So I also read um, The Baker's Wife by Ern Haley, which Baker's Wife is about this woman that hits the scooter on the road and then there's like blood everywhere and but there's no body and so she thinks she hit someone but there's no body anywhere and they find out that the blood it actually is belongs to 
this detective's wife and she is missing and they don't know where she is and they can't find her body anywhere and so chaos just erupts from there. It was actually a very scary book um, and it, as you might can tell it was kind of graphic in some places and it just wasn't like it was actually a pretty good book, but it probably, well, it wasn't my most favorite book. Um, I've tried reading some Ern Haley's books before, and she always has a supernatural element in her books, which is um, very difficult for me to read sometimes, but it was okay. Um, and it wasn't so too much supernatural in this book. There was some, but not as much Normie has in. Um, it seems like, and I read this book of four out of five stars. The fifth and final book that I've read in March is Relativity by Christian Bish Bishtia. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Um, I read that one four stars. Basically, what that book is about is it's about plural universes. So there's this girl that finds this, like, magical tree, I'm going to call it that, but that's not how it is described in the book. So this very old tree that can take her to parallel universes. So she's, like, trying to go and find the perfect universe. It was a very interesting read um, and stuff, but there was some content that I didn't like, but there wasn't a lot of it, so I rated it 4 out of 5 stars. That's it for my um, March wrap-up. Thank you very much for watching, and if you could like, comment, subscribe. I'm also a show show on social media sometimes. <laughs> that stuff's all linked down below, and a lot of the books this time are actually do have reviews which I'm been getting better at doing. So, um, that's all linked down below for you, and as I said, thank you for watching, and read near the stars as close as you can. Goodbye.